Bye. I'm going to work. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Good morning and welcome back to our channel. I'm Colleen and this is Our Blessed Life and this is Sophie. Today we are celebrating the first day of school. not really the first day of school. I need to go and count how many days we've actually done. But every year, sometime in July or August, we do celebrate the first day of school by doing our pretty simple <laughs> traditions, which is basically we take a picture and we do something special for breakfast. And this morning, the girls wanted to go to Starbucks, so that's what we're going to do. It's already almost 10 o'clock, so we definitely haven't gotten an early start. I wanted to show you that I finally got our dining room mostly together so this is where we're going to be doing school i'm still waiting on a shelf that i think is going to be here tomorrow we're going to take all of this stuff and put it on the shelf over there and um yeah so that's going to be kind of the main place that we're going to keep our current year school stuff and then our supplies that we use every day and then we will also use our living room to do school and when it um, isn't quite so hot and humid you can see the condensation on the windows this morning we also plan to do school outside on the porch. So we've done a lot of cleaning and straightening and putting things away and we really don't have a whole lot left here. We've, this is the painting. We've been in the middle of painting, so I still have my painting supplies. We've got some old yearbooks and photo albums that need to be put away and a little bit of tools and stuff like that. And then this is my pile of stuff for the electrician. I'm replacing this light as well as this light and um, so the one for the over the table is in that box we're waiting on him and then these are a couple of light fixtures that, or lights that need to be changed out that are too high for me to reach. All right so we have um, therapy today we have speech and OT over Zoom so we're getting ready to go get um, breakfast from Starbucks and then we're going to go ahead and do what we can before um, speech starts at 11. All right, we're on the way to Starbucks. Uh, we did the online order, so it should be super quick. All right, so let's do a back to school interview. Sophie, you excited about the first day of school? Yeah. What do you like best about school? Math. You like doing math? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, I like science. You like science? Yeah, I like you like to read? I like reading this book when you read. Yeah, I like When you read to mommy, you mean? No, you like reading. You like it when mommy reads to you? Yeah. What's your favorite subject? Which one do you like to do first? Handwriting. Handwriting. Is that your favorite? Yeah. Yeah. What do you like best about homeschooling? I like being on my bed. Yeah. What do you like about school, Katie? Um, well, with COVID and everything, I, I I definitely appreciate being homeschooled right now, not having to, to uh, go to school and wear a mask yeah. and all that, and uh, just being home. Yeah. What is your, what would you say is your favorite subject in school right now, this, this year, or if it's not this year, what has been your favorite subject if you're not doing it this year? I just like things that are easy. <laughs> and for most of the time for me that's math but I don't know what I'd say about for that for this year because this year you're doing calculus it is hard it's been a little it is different isn't it it's been a little different a little harder mm -hmm. what's your favorite subject before in math was it more like the algebra algebra, algebra was more my favorite so if you got egg bites and apple juice well, Katie got egg bites and a venti Cinnamon Dolce Latte without whipped cream, her fave. And I got egg bites and a venti iced vanilla latte. Okay, so even though we are celebrating today as the first day of school, today is actually day 38 for us. We started back in June. Um, like I said, we're year-round homeschoolers. Right now, we are getting our morning time stuff together. We are still working on Paradise Lost. We kind of rotate through morning time, the different things that we're doing. Right now we're working on um, Paradise Lost and while we do that, Sophie will do her handwriting because she has therapy so that allows her to get one thing done that she can do independently. And we should be able to finish this before speech. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So this is Homeschool Planet. It's what we use to schedule our work. We're looking at Katie's schedule. 
So today is actually Tuesday, August 25th. This week we're going to go ahead and do the whole week. So we missed Monday, but we're going to work Monday into our week just by doing a little bit every day. She'll probably do all of Monday today and then pick up a couple of things from Tuesday and just kind of do that the rest of the week until she's done all of the work. Um, let me show you Sophie. So this is um, Sophie's schedule for this week. Again, we'll do the same thing with her. She's a little bit ahead on some of her history already anyway, but um, we will just kind of work a little bit ahead until we kind of get all of the missed stuff caught up. We'll probably treat today as Monday, do a little bit of Tuesday, and just kind of do that all through the week until we catch up um, from the time that we... So if we basically took off a week last week because of moving and then we decided yesterday that we just needed one more day so I decided rather than rescheduling everything I would just we would just do five days worth of work in four days or either we'll take a weekend day if we're unable to finish um, but we'll get it done either way. So Katie started math in her room. Um, Sophie's getting ready to get on therapy. It's a little bit hard for her to concentrate when um, Sophie's on therapy because it's on Zoom and she doesn't have headphones or anything because sometimes the therapist needs to talk to me. So they'll just kind of like be like, Colleen, you know, <laughs> so I have to be able to hear that. So Katie went to her room to start math. Sophie and I just finished science. So we are doing um, God's Design Life for Beginners. Some of the things in here are a little aggressive for Sophie with some of her, you know, coordination, handwriting type things. So, for instance, this was a maze, and we're deciding that this is probably a little hard for Sophie, so she's just going to color it, make a pretty flower. I'm coloring it with jacket. I guess it, I'm making different colors. Yeah, and so Sophie has speech in about six minutes, so by the time she gets that done, it'll be time for speech. I'll show you what Katie is doing in her room. She's got, we got her desk in and got her desk built. So now she is able to do her school. Let me show you her, look at her beautiful room. It's almost totally done. We still need a chair for that corner. It's like a hammock chair. So this is Katie's um, setup here at her desk. So. Right now she's checking Homeschool Planet to see what lesson she needs to do. We had a little calculator emergency last night where we couldn't find the charging cord, but Daddy found it and um, so she's good to go, right Katie? Mm -hmm. So she's got her boxes. We're keeping their curriculum in um, these same boxes that we've used for several years, gosh, three or four years maybe. And um, so she just has gathered her stuff and um, she'll just move on to the next thing when she finishes and probably when therapy's done she usually comes back and joins us but right now she needs the peace and quiet right Katie <laughs> yeah I was gonna show you too we put up a shelf this this shelf you may remember this from my laundry room but we put that up in here to give them a little bit more storage in their bathroom so some of the stuff we've been up to so we put our table out here our little um, lantern things up and we also added some lights around the top and our welcome to our porch sign in our clock with a barometer temperature gauge um, from the other house and my little Adirondack chairs with pillows <clears throat> Katie has one of these chairs in her room right now because she hasn't been able to find a desk chair yet for her room there's a fan out here and my friend gave us this a long time ago. It's like a, um, a wind chime. So we hung that up there. So yeah, when it starts to cool down, we'll enjoy that and probably do our school out there. Which one does not belong? Okay. Why? Because it's not his home. A pool for people's swim. Very good. 
Which one does not belong? The frog. It's a frog. <laughs> it don't Why does make it? flowers. It's Good, not. it's not a flower. What about this one? All right, so it's 106 right now. Sophie's finished occupational therapy, speech therapy, handwriting, and science. We did handwriting and science before her therapy. So therapy just ended at one o'clock. And now we're gonna do her language arts and her math. While Sophie was doing therapy, um, we finished um, Katie's language arts. Um, that What she's doing right now is Paradise Lost. We finished that reading this morning. Then Sophie did therapy and Katie did her math, her science, and her French. And right now, Katie is working on her computer science um, and also her history. So that's what everybody has two subjects left today, and that's what we're working on now. So we're going to start learning your math facts. So 10 minus 1 is what? Eight. One less. Eight. What comes before, t what comes before 10? Nine. Uh-huh. So 10 minus 1 is 9. Yeah. 9 minus 1 is? Eight. Good. <laughs> Eight minus one is? Uh-huh. Friends, we'd love to pray for you. If we can pray for you, let us know in the comments below. Do I reach you? Thinking about us. You're thinking about it too. Higher and higher. I'm gonna raise the flag. Katie just finished her school. I do want to kind of add that Katie's school just takes a different amount of time almost every day. Like some days, I would say she can finish in four to five hours if math is quick and science is quick. But if she is in the middle of writing paper or if math is longer and um, chemistry is longer or she has a lab or has a lab write up, then her school is going to be more like six or seven hours. So for her, it really depends on the day. And sometimes it kind of depends on the week, like what subject or what topic she's doing in math, what topic she's doing in chemistry. Also in her math lessons and her chemistry lessons, they don't always all have five days of work. So for example, this week she had three lessons and one quiz. So that's either three or four days of work, depending on how she wants to um, work that out. Now some kids may choose to take those lessons and split them over two days if they take longer time um, and that's the way Shorman is designed to do but usually it doesn't take that long for Katie. So I just thought I would kind of throw that out. With high school it just really depends on the actual week and the subjects and what work they're doing at the time as to how long it takes. Sophie's school I would say usually takes about two to two and a half hours pretty much every day. Um, but Katie's can range anywhere from about four hours to about seven hours, just depending. And sometimes we just stop and say, hey, that's enough on that. If we're, especially if we're working on a project or paper that's spread out over a number of days or weeks, we just kind of do a certain amount of time on it and then put it down. So today Katie had what I would consider to be a little bit shorter of a day. So right now, what we are getting ready to do is catch up on our portfolios because while we were traveling for two, two and a half weeks, I think, before we moved in, and really even towards the end of the time that we were in our old house, we were unable to file things in our portfolios because they were packed. So South Carolina is a portfolio state, so we are required to maintain a portfolio under our homeschooling law. Um, even if you're in a state that doesn't, I highly recommend doing a portfolio because if you ever needed to put your kids back in public school or anything like that, um, or if you any, ever had any kind of questioning of your homeschooling and what you're doing, you have all the proof you need with that portfolio. But what we're doing is we're putting our work samples of the things that my kids have completed during that time in their portfolios and just kind of getting that all cleaned up. So that's what Katie and I are gonna do right now. And then we are going to build some of the stuff that just came in. So um, I've mentioned a couple of times that we've got a uh, like a drop zone type of thing that's gonna go right here. And one of those boxes is that. Then the other box is a shelf that we're gonna put in our dining room to hold some of our school stuff.
some decor items on the top. We got our, this is like our everyday school stuff. So Sophie's stuff, her portfolio, the rest of it's all Katie's and then Katie's portfolio. And this is kind of where they turn in their work. Think These are things that either need to be graded or put in the portfolio. We also have some paper here and then these are some little page protectors that we use, Katie uses. And then this is Sophie's therapy printouts that we use for Zoom therapy and then our hole puncher. So I go through some of our decorations and pictures and things and add some stuff here. Finally got my Simply Safe um, camera set up for our security system. I've done almost everything now except for the doorbell and one more entry sensor, but um, I was waiting to do that because we needed a place to set it because those don't actually attach to the wall. I guess you could attach it to the wall, but it says basically I set it on a shelf. So I got that done and it gave us a lot more storage space than we needed. I was a little scared because I thought it was really big when we put it together, but it fits in the space really nicely and I'm pretty happy with it. So right now I'm in the kitchen. I'm going to make some lasagna rolls for supper. I'm gonna probably make a double batch. That's what I usually do. So this is just like a whole large thing of ricotta cheese and two eggs. And I need a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Um, and that's the filling. Um, you can also add spinach to this, but my people don't like spinach. So we just do it as cheese lasagna rolls. Um, I'm also gonna have to pull out my sauce that I made. And I've got some water boiling over here to add the lasagna noodles. Um, so I'll do that in a few minutes once that's ready. Lasagna rolls are done. I just bake them. Um, once I put them together, I topped them with mozzarella cheese and I just baked them for about 35 minutes at 350 degrees and I did cover them with uh, tin foil. All right, so we finished supper. I think Gary must have cleaned the kitchen because it's looking a lot better than it was. Um, he was outside for a while, so I didn't even know he did that. I just finished my video for tomorrow. At least I finished the editing. I still gotta upload it and do all the back end and stuff to it, but we're getting ready to put this piece of furniture together. I'm super excited about this, so my helper is back. Here's our hall tree. I just put my pillows that were at my desk at the old house on here. And then two of the uh, baskets that were in our laundry room, I put those underneath. And that is um, gonna store our beach towels. We really had nowhere to put our beach towels, so this was a huge help to us. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.